you give me your Mount Rushmore of wrestlers? Ooh, is that four? Yeah, yeah. four. Uh, my personal Mount Rushmore, Cheese Louise. Let's see, my favorites, uh, you got Stone Cold, you got The Rock, you got Shawn Michaels, and then my other favorite would be Seth Rollins. The man is a fan of Harry Potter, Pokemon, and wrestling. Come on, gotta love him. This is Sports Center. Hey, I'm Marissa Berto, and this is Digital Sports Center presented by the all new Ford F 150. We are joining you once again from the beautiful cosmopolitan of Las Vegas. Only we've moved from the 38th floor and are now poolside. But as you can see and hear from the wind ripping, it's not really a day for swimming out here. And can you believe the Super Bowl Sunday is just a day away? Now, I said it all week. The best part about being down here in Vegas is all the great access to players we get. Specifically, someone like Max Crosby, who knows Patrick Mahomes very well. As you can see, he's done some damage in his career against KC. We caught up with him yesterday to talk all things Super Bowl, starting with what he thought was the most intriguing matchup for Sunday's game. Um, I think it's going to come down to the matchup with Chris Jones. I think Chris Jones is going to make, make a big play. He's one of those guys, you know, what separates him from a lot of dudes is he makes the plays in the biggest moment. So, yeah, uh, I think that's going to be critical. What makes playing against Patrick Mahomes so hard? Uh, I mean, he doesn't give up. He's a competitor. He can make all type of throws. And he doesn't scramble to run. He scrambles to pass. So it makes it really tough on a defense when you're covering for eight to nine seconds. Um, as a front, you know, you got to rush him all day and all day long. and know you got to put your track shoes on. Do you have a prediction for Sunday? Um, I think the Chiefs will win in a close one. All right. How do you feel about this city as a host? About Las Vegas in general? I mean, Las Vegas is the greatest city in the world, internet, uh, entertainment capital of the world, and soon it's going to be the sports mecca in the world. Baseball's coming, basketball's coming as well, the Raiders are going to be winning, uh, everybody's going to be winning, so yeah, Las Vegas is uh, uno. Thanks so much for doing that. Appreciate it. And I don't know if you noticed, but he wasn't actually wearing a shirt. That was just all tattoos. You can watch Super Bowl Sunday on TSN and CTV at 6 Eastern, 3 Pacific. With the cover starting nice and early at 10 a.m. Eastern on TSN and noon Eastern on CTV. All week we've been heading down to Mandalay Bay for both the Radio Row and the NFL Experience. And honestly, the NFL Experience is truly something special. As you can run drills and pretty much do your own combine. Which I did along with my producer and you can relive that right now with Roberto on the go. I'm not athletic. So I don't want you to set your bar high at all for me. Not that you would have anyway. But I'm gonna try the field goal kick first. Oh. Yes! I've never seen Chris more fired up about anything. I'm gonna tell you that for free. Who would you? You didn't tackle it. I think I broke my back. Spinal. Three. Oh. One. <laughs> go. go. What's so you this? try to hit each thing. I have to throw a football. Attempt number one, precision passing. You saw me kicking. <laughs> I did break a nail on that one. Nice. Two for two. Wow! <laughs> I am an athlete. Honestly, I set the bar really low for myself, so I was impressed. Now joined by David Sanchez. Look at us sitting down, hey. getting comfy over here. How's it going? It's going. Yeah? It's going, yeah. I Good. got the shades on. You took yours off. Uh, well, I got to keep the hair back, okay? Keep it in place because the wind is absolutely ripping right now. Listen, <laughs> Davis, you're a former DB, and these are two of the best secondaries in the league. Yes. So come Sunday, which offense has the easier matchup? Kansas City's offense has an easier matchup mm. because Kansas City defense doesn't have any exploitables. Mm. They're... They're loaded, uh, in particular, like you said. As a defensive back, I look at their secondary. Uh, they're not good. I think they're great. And <laughs> for the Niners, there's a couple guys back there. They have two really good DBs in San Francisco, mm. but there's a couple guys who I think you can exploit. So I think Kansas City's offense uh, will have more success. Oh, you know, my favorite question is, what's your best bet come Sunday? Gosh, and, and playing off of that, mm. uh, let's add this too. For, oh. for the betting folks, if you want to have fun, and enjoy the game and, and the broadcast, yeah. I would bet all Travis Kelsey overs <laughs> because okay. we're going to get a lot of conversation about that during the broadcast. Yeah. We know that. Of uh, course. Now, do I think that's profitable? Probably not. I think if you want to be profitable, I would bet all Travis Kelsey unders because all the Swifties are going to push that number way <laughs> high, higher than it should be. And if you want to win money, you should take the under in Travis Kelsey's. Uh -huh. um, but my best bet is Marquez Valdez Scantling, receiver for the Kansas City Chiefs, over 18 and a half. Take that one to the bank. You want to pay for your pizza, for your <laughs> beers, whatever you want. 
Take MVS <laughs> over 18 and a half receiving yards, um, and you'll be a winner. Okay, I feel a little personally attacked with the Swifty call out here. Ooh. I'm ready to go for Sunday. Have a good one. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, we are still talking Super Bowl, but let's take a slight pivot. Because the Super Bowl isn't just about the game. Even though this is an unreal game and we cannot wait to see it, it's also about halftime. And yesterday we got some big news, as Alicia Keys will be joining Usher for the Apple Music halftime show. And honestly, with the crazy rumors going around, who knows who else could show up? But what if you could build your own dream Super Bowl halftime show? Who would you want in it? Dream halftime show. That's a good one. Probably Drake, Lil Wayne. We're from Canada, just Okay, nice. Okay. Drake, Lil Wayne. Uh, maybe like a, maybe a Bieber, shout out to Canada again, and um, future. I think rock is probably underrepresented, but it is hard to pull off a rock show. I'm old though, it's like I'm, I'm trying to think of something that won't make me sound old and embarrassing. I'm gonna go Lil Baby and Future on that one. Nah, them boys go crazy, both of them, they go hard. Lil Wayne, Future, and uh, Say young boy. Yeah. Nah, just, you know, whatever. Dealer's choice. Michael Jackson, for sure. Ooh, That's it. not even comparable. King of pop. And so I would go like Luke Combs, Zach Bryan, one of those types, um, just being a country music fan. I'm going to say Chris Stapleton. Nice. I'm going to say Lil Wayne. It's a, it's a different mix up, you know, it's not the same genre. Let me see. I don't know. I don't know about a third. Maybe, uh, shoot, throw Usher in there. He's doing it this year, so. Wow. The love for Usher, we love it. So, so wait, like, they could be they can be dead or alive. Like if you're a Tupac fan, stay Tupac. Oh yeah, I mean Tupac would be pretty great. I feel like a Tupac Biggie reunion, or well, I guess not a reunion, uh them making up and yeah. doing a concert together. Did you see you made me sound old? I was trying to sound young and I, I am with you. This I is an know. elder millennial situation. ASAP okay? somebody. <laughs> okay. See I have a joke that I've been putting in the show the last couple of days. What? I said the stadium holds seventy thousand people. They're gonna try to get seventy thousand people in the stadium with one Usher. Okay. <laughs> That's gonna be hard. Thank you for your time. I Thank appreciate it. Thank you for your time. It was fun. <laughs> let's go steal that car. Come on, let's go. Props to Kyle Hamilton for going super Canadian with his. Mine, you know I want to see Swift, but I'd like to see some more Canadians in there too. Let's give Tate McRae a go. That's it for me today. You know we'll be back here tomorrow for Super Bowl Sunday. We will see you then.